Next up, we have Mariel McIntyre being presented by, again, former Concordia women's hockey head coach, women's golf head coach, Jim Ingman. Again, thank you. Um, Dr. Muriel, I've been thinking about this for a while. I'm real curious when she gets up here and starts speaking what, what kind of speech she's going to give. Um, Muriel's probably the most, one of the most remarkable people I've ever met. Um, until you really get to know her, um, she'll come off very shy, and then once you get to know her, you'll, you, you'll be entertained for a long time. Um, but a little bit about Muriel. She graduated here in 2012 with a degree in business marketing and management. Um, she's currently a professional golfer playing on the Sunshine Ladies Tour, the Sumatra Tour, and the Cactus Tour. Um, she did uh, have and accept the opportunity to go to Q School this fall for the LPGA Tour. Um, so, uh, bright road ahead of her, but I think that says a lot um, about her, her in general. Um, the hard work she had put it put in to get to this point. Um, I did have the unique opportunity about a year or two to try to convince the U.S. government of why she should have to live here um, <laughs> to continue on her path uh, as in, as in uh, her visa was up. But as you know, it's probably living in Arizona is the best place to be if you're going to be a professional golfer. So uh, that all worked out well. But a little bit about Muriel. Um, Blair and I met her when she was 14 years old in Warner, Alberta, Canada. A good friend of mine, Coach Jamie Wood, introduced me to her. Uh, at 14, she was tall. She's really tall now. But uh, I got to meet her and her parents, and it was a wonderful experience. Did I ever believe at that time she would be playing here at Concordia? No. Uh, <laughs> Warner, Alberta, where she was going to school, the hockey school was incredible. She was an incredible player. Um, but I didn't know anything about the golf background at the time. It was just hockey. And then uh, Warner had actually a hockey camp in the summer up there that the players stuck around for. And uh, my team one year was really bad up there. And the last year we tried getting Muriel, every star player for Warner on my team. To, it was a camp to fundraise for him. We tried getting everybody up there to to try to win this thing, win a game for us, and it still didn't work. Um, but anyways, afterwards, we all went out to eat and got to meet Muriel and her parents and start to understand her background and where she came from. It's really remarkable. Um, actually, Muriel originally was born in South Africa, moved to uh, Penedict in British Columbia, um, went to school in Warner, Alberta. Um, and then uh, her junior, senior year came around, and the opportunity came where we might have an opportunity for her to come and play here. Uh, and I flew up uh, to the border on real short notice, met with her and a couple other players down just off the border in Montana, um, was able to get her here. And at that time, we still knew she was a really good hockey player, but all right, maybe an average golfer. Well, it turned out she wasn't an average golfer. She was a very good golfer. Uh, and I think that goes on to say uh, when she was here, um, an incredible player, four-time player of the year that'll probably never be matched again in the NAC. Uh, her, her scoring record of a 70 on a, on a <laughs> that's incredible. Um, I was able to coach one other golfer here who maybe had the chance at it, but uh, those scores just don't come around. They don't come around on the Pro Tour much right now of a straight par score or below. Um, you have to be really good, and uh, she was able to do that here. But um, when I think of Muriel, the best way to do it, to describe her as she's dangerously quiet until you get to know her. Athletically, she's always calm and calculated. I've only seen her once in her life, to me, actually say something back. Um, in hockey, we, we had a really good couple years at the end there. And I remember as a defenseman, a player got around her, and I just couldn't understand when you're six foot four and have a stick that's six foot tall how someone can get around you in women's hockey. Um, <laughs> I'd never seen it in a practice. And she finally said something back to me, and I sat there and I thought about that story today, going, you know, that's why she was really so, that's why she's so good at golf. Nothing gets to her. She'd let a, someone would score on the ice. She'd come back and have the identical best shift afterwards again. In golf, nothing got to her. 
Um, but another thing that most people don't understand about Muriel when she played golf, every other opponent she ever played against loved her to death. And she would win all the time. But it wasn't that they just gave up and wanted to be friends with her because they realized they couldn't beat her. She was that quality of a student athlete and an athlete on the golf course. Total sportsman. Hardly ever you see the, the champion, the best golfer, best athlete in any sport be the, win the sportsmanship award. Obviously, they don't give it to the best golfer. She's, she's wondering what, if they would have went around the coach and said, we're going to pick one player to give the sportsmanship award to, in golf, it would have been the best golfer out on the course. So it was pretty remarkable uh, about her. Um, the last thing you need to know about Muriel is the type of friend she is. And then I go with Steph, too, if you look around the room today, her core group of best friends are here, except for one. And that one can't travel right now because she might be having a kid at this moment, for all we know, <laughs> Sarah. But uh, she, she, great, she was a true student athlete, developed great bonds with everyone here, and uh, really remarkable to be able to coach her. Um, we don't need to go through her bio much. It's pretty as what she was. She was the most dominant golfer I've ever seen on the golf course. Um, she could have won any tournament she was in. I think the time she didn't win is she, she probably didn't practice all week and just decided to go out and play, and it was just a, a fluke that she got second somehow. Um, because when Muriel went out and practiced and played, she was by far the best golf. And the biggest thing you need to know about Muriel, beside all the things I said about how great her family is, how great she is as a person, she really did change the viewpoint of golf in the NAC conference. Uh, when they saw the type of player she was and the ability of not to get her in the national tournament, she had the numbers to get in, but she couldn't get there because of the conference. She was that good of a golfer. She, she played toe-to-toe -to -toe with the national champion that year from UW-Stevens Point. But the conference weight, the conference scores, the conference everything, we didn't have an automatic qualifier. She couldn't get in. The conference took a reapproach to golf after that, really focused on getting the automatic qualifier, getting people in, and actually a teammate, never of hers, but that came in afterwards, had the opportunity to play at the national championship, and actually in day two was the leading scorer at the NCAA national tournament, as in the top scorer for the day. She's not there if it isn't for the work that Muriel put in in golf earlier here to make the teams realize when we get a player like this, we got to put them in a spot where they can give the conference some recognition. And I just don't think that's in golf. I see that in other sports now. You look at the NAC conference in general. There are teams every year that just aren't competing locally. They are competing at the national level, competing for national championships. That evolution happened and it happened slowly, but it takes all the players in this room, all the players in the Hall of Fame to continue to believe in it, work on it, and get to that point that someone else can benefit. I always said when you're playing a sport, it isn't about you, it's about your teammates, but it's also about the future. You're setting up the future of athletics. Uh, and everyone in this room knows that, and Muriel is no, no doubt a definition of that, of setting up golf for the future in the NAC. But without ado, Muriel, congrats. Come on up. Well, I'm going to keep this short and sweet because I am not a talker, and I am super shy. So. Uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you to everyone, um, my hockey teammates, Jim, thank you for recruiting me. Um, unfortunately, my golf coach, Jeff Luce, couldn't be here, but we never really fielded a team in golf, and if we did, it was because we got random girls to come and help us. There's one girl in the back, specifically, uh, Sarah Tolleson. She's a teammate of mine in hockey, and there was multiple times where I just called her and I said, we need a team, we need a fourth, help me out, come play even though your score probably is going to be in the hundreds. So thank you, Sarah. Um, yeah, otherwise, my parents unfortunately couldn't be here. My mom is dealing with cancer right now. So just I want to give a prayer to them. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks, guys.